More Final Fantasy 16. In the last episode, we made it here to Delamere. Um, caused a lot of chaos at the bar where she's still holding a grudge against us, even though we paid her. Um, Joshua and Yote were there, or Jote, and they escaped. Uh, Clive seems to be withholding from Uncle Byron that Joshua is still alive because he didn't tell him why he ran up after he saw the Phoenix Feather come from his chest. And then we found out who the Desert Hare was, which was this Aladdin-looking dude. And then we earned his trust by uh, stopping a little crystal underworld subterfuge thing going on. And um, at the very end, we started a side quest with this poor dude who just can't seem to make a kitchenware knife. And then there's another side quest that we can uh, start somewhere. Is this... Like, which one's the actual side quest? Hot water. So it's the hot water. So I'm assuming you're like the person I'm supposed to talk to. What can I do you for? A question, if you don't mind. I need to know what makes a good carving knife. You a blacksmith or something? Something, I suppose. Fair enough. Knives, is it? First and foremost, it's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat, no problem, but sinew dulls cheap steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. So a knife that stays sharp. Hmm. Makes sense. Honestly, kind of simple enough. You mean a knife that keeps its knifeness sharp? Holy shit. I'm assuming you're different. Where is this other person? Oh, maybe they're up. Yeah, maybe they're up. Because it's obviously not you. You're the, the you're the hot water quest. No. Left the territory. That's fine. That's fine. Got stuck. There's got to be another one then. Okay. Oh, maybe he is. Like, he's the spirit of Delamil. That's what I'm getting from this, is that he's supposed to be the spirit of Delamil. And not like a separate side quest. Services be for hire. That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The waters turned scalding hot, and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you. Go to Dusnoff Terraces. Tell me what you find there. Okay. All right. I'll right. we'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The smell of sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. <laughs> my livelihood, my very life, is at stake. Okay. No, not all that I was hoping for.
Although now you pop up? Oh no, you're the hot water dude. Oh, maybe I've never gone this way. Didn't know this was a way. Hey. Okay, so there's absolutely nothing there. Oh, it's Toro. I was like, oh, awesome. So, where the hell? Is it you? Hunter. Every time you use it, you'll be spending coin as fast as you make it. And hard enough as it is. Thank you. I won't keep you any longer. Business, eh? Man after my own heart. So, a carving knife should be hard wearing and hold an edge. Hardly a revelation. Exactly. I've never had better luck than I did. Exactly my thought. Should be sturdy and uh, not break easily. Gotta go hand in hand. Let's hope he found out what the spirit of Delamere is. So, how'd it go? You learn anything useful, or should I be looking for a new trade? Only that a blade should be durable and stay sharp. But I don't see how that relates to the spirit of Delamere. I didn't have much luck either. All the cook said was that he needs his knives to be light. Too heavy and they do his shoulder in. So we're no better off than when we started. Perhaps Lubor didn't mean anything with his Dalamil remark. But that can't be right. I've bandied enough words with the man to know that he chooses them carefully. No. We must be missing something. Something right in front of our noses, most likely. No doubt you're right, but I have to make a start soon. I can't put off making this knife forever. Agreed. Luba wouldn't like that much. Right. I've been trained to work iron. The cheap stuff, mind. But it's hard enough if you don't hammer it too thin. And it sharpens up nicely with a bit of effort. Trouble is, it's either durable or it's light. Meaning someone is going to be disappointed. Forge Master Lubor, probably. Is there no one else you can turn to? Someone who knows their metals, perhaps? Yeah. The other apprentice is no better than to help me with my test. But maybe there is someone I could turn to. A merchant. A favorite of Forge Master Lubor's, who sells metals to tradesmen passing through the Valkroy. I bet she'd know a thing or two. Well, I better go after the dumb lad. Oh, damn. He said, like, that center thing. Full speed! Clive, I know you're not out of, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. That's what I was banking on, Clive. Full speed ahead to the center construction weird thing that's just sticking in the ground. 
how did this thing get stuck in the- was this like a sea before and it's just stuck there from when it was like the sea? I don't know. It's very weird now that I got stuck in the ground, but whatever. from generation to generation, never needing so much as a lick of the whetstone room. But adamantite ore is unique to ash, so it doesn't come cheap. And it's beyond my skill to handle. Unique to ash. Are there any materials unique to Dalamil? Something which could be mixed with iron to refine it, make it lighter. What are you getting at? You said that Lubor trained you to work with iron. Then that's what he'll expect you to use. But he would have known that it would either be too heavy or too brittle for a carving knife. Perhaps his Dalamil remark wasn't a riddle, but a hint. If it's cheap metal you're using, then there's always limestone, I suppose. Folk first settled Dalamil to get it her mineral deposits. And if you know the trick, it can be melted down in the furnace to drive out impurities from low-quality iron. Bloody hell! That must be it! I don't suppose you know the trick, do you? It's hardly my speciality, but I've been around enough blacksmiths to know how it works. Looks like I've got some learning to do. Clive, I, uh, hate to ask after all that you've done for me. But... The limestone? Fine. I can hardly abandon you now. Besides, I want to know if this is the answer to Lubor's little riddle. I can't thank you enough, Clive. You'll have no trouble finding limestone over in the terraces. I am bloody made of it! Then I suppose I'll meet you back at the forge. Right you are. See you shortly. Do you crush it up, or just throw it in the furnace? <coughs> Alright, so where's... Oh, shit. Fuck, we're just gonna fast travel to Obelisk. I thought it was gonna be out in, like, the Oasis. You know what I'm saying? Is it true what I'm hearing? The men of the rock were cutting off our crystals for themselves. Hell yeah, they were. We really wanted you to be without a crystal. So where, oh where, are my limey stones? No, oh, well, that was fast. I'm not too late. What is it, Lubo? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's leg. To finish Hugo Kuka. Just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. So I know. Can loot our allies. And as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. The man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you are determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kuka does, anyway. <laughs> so long as you're on a plan. Sure, she cares a little. After the limey stone. Drake's fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall I don't care. 
I want the limestone. I see fire, and I don't like that. In fact, looks a lot like another. Hopefully this is what someone needs. No, we'll leave him alone. I mean they're right next to each other almost. Tell me you put down roots. Let's go take out this fire. You got anything fun to say? Trader, are you? Seeking your fortune, dining the gold in the sands of Dalamil. For Merkins all stop yourself as apples. You'd never guess. I was born just down the road in Travosh. Might be old man, pa. Wandering the world with Gilbert's blessing ever since. Reckon I might have found it too. You've heard about the famous Elam Wars they got round these parts, right? Well, I'm thinking if I could find a little pool of me, dress it up a bit, lay on drinks and fancies and whatnot, I'd have a license to mint Gil. Soothing your aches and pains with a grape in your gob and a glass in your hand. There's nothing people wouldn't pay. Oh my god, he just went on and on and on. It's like, jeez, dude, shut up. Man, I really gotta go around this all loop, dude. I was hoping I wouldn't have to go around the whole fucking loop. All right. I'm assuming those are like the mines they want me to go in. Broken down, you say, from the weight of its load. Aye, the guards are furious about it. You do well to steer clear. Well, if it's blocking the road, it'd be a wasted journey anyway. Oh, that's quick. Oh. Get that damned wagon fixed. Unless you'd rather our men in Dalamil starved. Oh, okay, I see what they're talking about. So that's just a little yep, can't go this way yet. <laughs> Dumb. What are you? Three bloody hides. Go bloody figure. No? Oh. oh. Did let me open it from that angle. I gotta say, I like how this looks. Like this quarry. It's cool. It's cool. You know, but I, I see what's causing an issue here. That explains the heat. Alright, yep. More so, boys. Hell yeah. Go for the wind. Go for the tornado. Oh my god. Thank you. Go for it. No, 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 no. New enemies? What are you. Gay! Hell yeah. Golf, baby. Oh, shit. Well, that was weird. Did 
Get him! Dang it, homie. Do it. Oh, come on. I'm surprised that one didn't just straight up kill him. Well, this is definitely what was overheating his springs. He just had just a bunch of fucking fireballs over it. And that's both quests. There he is. The man who saved one. I was hoping we'd be seeing you again. The baths grow more bearable by the moment. It won't be long now before we are back to business as usual. I'm glad to hear it. Now, tell me this. What did you find at the terraces? What threatened to make me a pauper? Not what I expected, that's for certain. Yeah, a bunch of fireballs. story but that's not to say i don't believe you though creatures made of flame eh? that's something new to worry about but i burdened you with my worries enough already here a small something by way of thanks right it's high time i got back to work with a little luck the day might yet be salvaged what if I, do i need to take a picture of the damn fireballs for you to believe outright Anyway, Breath of Inferno, Ignition, Scarlet, still not exactly what I'm looking for. I'm kind of curious, did the people say something in here? The, um, scrubbing is almost finished. We appreciate your patience. Nope. I thought I was just going to remark on, you know, cooling off the damn thing, but I guess not. All right, homie. So, how's your knife? Wasn't sure how much you need. I hope this is enough. A spring lime. You are one of the good ones. You know that. You and that Merchant both. She's got quite a gift for teaching that one. Now, Maybe she could work for her. Time to see if limestone. Let me guess, you're gonna tell me no. Sometime later. Looks like a kunai. I'll do, I reckon. <clears throat> Life forged from the very rocks of Dalamil. Her spirit, if you will. It's a fine looking blade. <sighs> I only hope Master Lubal agrees. That sounds like my cue. And just as well. Getting tired of waiting. I'm oh, no, sorry, Forge Must Lubal. Let's take a look then, shall we? First things first, Safa, do you think this is a carving knife worthy of the fine people of Dalamil? I. I'd like to think so. Uh, but what do you think? What do I think indeed? It's sharp ish. But it won't last long with hard use. And it's heavy. Heavier than it should be. You might not think it just to hold it for a moment, but sell that to a cook and you'll never hear the end of it. It looks like someone paid a visit to the terraces. The limestone was a step in the right direction, granted, but one that still leaves you short of the mark. And I was so certain I had it all worked out. I don't know who you found to teach you that little trick, but it certainly shows initiative. Next question. How much do you think I would charge if I'd made this? Well, if it took you even a fraction of the time it took me, I would say you could demand a heavy purse. 
and who would be able to pay that? The butcher? The hunter? The cooks over at the inn? Dalamil is home to humble traders, not wealthy lords and ladies. Rule number one in any business, Safa. Know your customers. Yes, Forge Master. This is just about possible. But only just. I'd say you're worth keeping around a little longer. Starting tomorrow, you'll have an anvil of your own. I will. Thank you. Um, I was wondering, uh, what would you do if you were asked to forge a carving knife? I do what I always do. Ask who it's for. If it was for the butcher, I'd make sure it holds an edge. For the hunter, I'd make it as tough as Titan. For the cook, light as a feather. And for the nobleman, I'd make it cost an absolute fortune. <laughs> there goes a master, all right. It looks like congratulations are in order. I couldn't have done it without you. So much for the Forge Master's riddle, though, eh? The spirit of Dalamil had nothing to do with limestone. Anything much at all. Meaning, I had you run around for no good reason. You've passed your test. That's all that matters. You'll have a forge of your own in no time. And when I do, I'll craft you the finest carving knife you have ever seen. For a, for a discount, right? <laughs> I'm an outlaw, no no Oh my god, I just got like two thousand gold. <laughs> I'm also sort of rich, so there's also that. Do, 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 do. Okay. I hear you and the master are working together now. Glad to have you on board. Nice. To the mine entrance! What are we at? 27? So we still got 32-ish minutes? What was that? Oh, that's the Magicka. I saw the light blue and I was like, wait, 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 wait what is that? What is that? Nope, nope, nope. Just NPC magic. So absolutely jack shit is what it is. Nice. Nice. We did spend a potion, so... I need to, to buy that new potion. Although I love how we said, yeah, we're, uh, you know. Okay. I didn't know that I was still wounded. We were like, yeah, oh, we're going to go kill Kupka. And he's like, oh. Well, just take the mine entrance, please. <laughs> Not that we would have had a choice anyway. The path saying otherwise is blocked. And the, the flame the flame fight wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I was expecting that to be a lot worse. Considering they're fireballs and my main source of fight fighting is uh, fire. Because I'm the dominant of Ifrit. You wouldn't think fire worked well against fire. But uh, I guess in this game it does. Oh, you disappeared. There was that merchant right here. I wonder if he just talked about the fireballs up ahead, then that had to have been it. What was that? Nothing. Just an empty torch. The jaw. So what is it up and about over on this shit? Recouping. Along with goodness knows how many guards, all on the highest alert, 
You'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the vicery in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin. Like the coward I am. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however, no. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation strove to improve the plight of bearers. Minus your mom. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling Rosaria. By extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know. Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. Well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then. Until then, go safely, uncle. And you, nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I shall expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> you can regale me too, Torvo. <laughs> Such a sweet and innocent interaction that foreshadows that that will never happen. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I think I might just leave the episode here. Because I don't really want to start the mission mission. I mean, fuck it. We'll start it. We'll, we'll start it. We'll see the first cutscene. And we'll, we'll, we'll see where it goes.
Are those gloves or is hands blue? Out of my sight, witch! I'll kill you, Rosfield! I'll rip out your heart! I'll tear you limb from limb! Peace, Hugo. The table shan't hurt you any longer. He sought to humiliate me. Me! If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead! You truly believe he would have triumphed and the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust! And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! You weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. You see, Hugo, you are weak. Fuck. But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. First, stop groveling. <laughs> It was Benedicta. Like Benedicta Harman. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. She did. No, no. Benedicta. She snapped. I don't remember drinking from anything. But I think he's just saying that to get him to do it because he knows he'll do it because of Benedicta. Manipulation 101. What in the fuck? Oh, the goblins. Right.
Or are they ogres? Orcs. Close enough. They're just giga goblins. <laughs> Into the darkness. The beast meant part of the Wolunda army now. How the hell did that happen? I don't even know what's supposed to be going on here. What do you mean? There was no way of avoiding that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is it just the one dude left? Nope, there was also him. Okay. That was just bizarre. Were you supposed to be able to snuff past that? I don't think you can. I literally got right here and then the fight automatically started. Why even make it look like you can sneak past that? Yeah, I don't think there would be a way because like, it's like way too close to where they were. There, man. What do you? He's on the ground. Dumb bitch. So much for the men of the rock. Don't make his finest. Yeah. Orc food. I mean, they're they're in the rock stomach. That's for fucking sure. I guess there's like no way up here, right? Yeah. There's just a false path, I guess. Get him, Torgal. Like, I'm just gonna... This is like a freaking... He's like a boomerang, and it's kind of funny. What are you doing? No, fucking stay on Savage Ravage. I'd never switch to the fucking... Oh, that's so dumb. Get him, Torgal. Get him, Torgal. Play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm sorry. Just having Torgal do it is honestly so much funnier. Didn't know that was in here. But I do now. Okay, so that's nothing. That's a ladder. But what was in here? 
where we had Torgal absolutely slaughter that man. Okay, nothing. How did I switch over to that, though? I didn't. That's what confuses me. Alright, so I think after we finish this room, I may or may not end this episode. Because we're at 45, is 15, and I really don't want to do the boss fight in this episode. Oh, there you are. You should never have left Ash. No. He's on the ground. Just do your ground pound attack, man. No. And whatever survives will just be lightning. What are you doing? He's on the ground! Okay, how are you not dead? Die. Yeah, you see how he's on the ground? Do the ground bound attack. I try. Bitch. They just had that one guy up there on the little podium that was just causing shit the whole entire time. Like, that was kind of annoying. It's like, you know, it is what it is. Is this? Yeah, it just looped. See, so yeah, this is where I came from. Oh. I didn't even know there was a way to the right. Okay, can't get up that way. Then it's like, what is the way forward? Aha! How I did not see this, I don't know. Looks like a, this way. Yeah, this looks like a good place to stop then. An actual door. We already went through waves of enemy, which makes me think that this is either going to be a boss, a mini boss, or they're just going to throw you straight into the Titan. Kind of like a Benedicta was. You had the narrow pathway, which was super fucking windy. I guess first you had like all like the mini drakes scattered throughout that Drake airy field. Although that wasn't like actually part of the mission mission. Then you go to the actual mission. It's just that windy little route where you see Joseph for like a split second or Joseph Joshua for like a split second. And then you make it up there and you fight Benedict in two different fights. You fight the icon as Clive and then you fight the icon as your icon. So uh, either way, either this is going to be a mini boss or it's going to lead to uh, Kupka's icon fight. 
Hope you have a great day. Remember, only you can be the best you can possibly be. And ta-ta. For now.